morning, James. It's completely Wednesday. How the devil are you? It's also the 4th of July and I've kind of recently been to America. It would be remiss of me. Ah, fly. So I thought it would be remiss of me not to talk about Victorian England. Go away, fly. And it seems like this really weird combination, right? Like America's the land of the free and like Victorian England was like hilariously repressed. As always, the truth resists simplicity. Let me explain. What makes Victorian England really interesting for like, you know, uh, two undergraduates like myself, you know, <laughs> you know, not, 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 not that it's a big deal. What makes Victorian England a really interesting period of history is this transition between people living mostly in rural areas and like knowing their place in life to people living in more urban areas and things being a bit more wibbly wobbly and timey wimey. In other words the industrial revolution kind of mixed things up a little bit. Working class people were suddenly MPs and like representing people and like all working men got like the vote which was really radical at the time. Following revolutions elsewhere in the world like Russia and France and China, the aristocracy in the UK thought that its days were numbered quite rightly. So what the British aristocracy did was export ideas. So in the 1890s James a lot of money was spent making the British British Empire seemed like the greatest thing that had ever happened to the world since Roman Greece, which was a pretty big deal in the 1890s. Combining the old traditions of monarchy and aristocracy with these really new radical ideas of like meritocracy, the idea that if you like work hard enough you can get anywhere, which is exactly what America did in the 20th century. They made America seem like the best thing that had ever happened in the world. America exported ideas, really held on to this idea of the meritocracy, bringing it up to the here and now. Now, it's resulted in a lot of really pissed off people as there were in Victorian England. Unfortunately James, as much as we really like the idea of meritocracy, it hasn't always worked like that. And James, you may be thinking I'm painting this really pessimistic view of contemporary America, or, or at least what I saw. What makes Victorian England brilliant is what makes contemporary America brilliant. It's opulence, it's beautifulness, it's really oh. What contemporary America has, which Victorian England sort of lacked, is this really beautiful idea that things will get better. James, I shall see you maybe a bit later, but mostly on Saturday.